All right, folks, today I'm going to go through one of the containers of my old stored away South Park crap. I have a whole lot of containers and I'm only going to go through one right now. It's a big tub. The first thing I'm going to take out is <laughs> the South Park backpack that I wore to school in eighth grade. So that was $98.99, I think. Yep, $98.99. Next, we have this picture of Cartman that says, what are you looking at? It was an ad for a t-shirt, and I fucking stole it from Target or Walmart or wherever it was. These are two different pairs of South Park pajama pants. This is the first one. It has a cool pattern on it. I think I actually tore a hole in it when I was cutting off the tag, which sucks. But there's really no way around that, and I don't wear them now anyway. I just keep them stored away. The other pair of pajama pants are the boys' as pimps. And they're pretty cool. Season 4, The Tooth Fairy's Tats, 2000. Now we have a, a Kyle South Park holiday ornament with Mr. Hanky and Kyle, of course. If you can see that. I remember buying this at Spencer's many moons ago, many, many moons ago, but it's pretty cool and Kyle's probably my favorite, so awesome. This is a South Park fragrance thingamabob that talks, and I got this on eBay a long time ago. Let's see what it says when it talks. Okay, apparently it doesn't talk anymore. Wow, that's a bummer. Here is a South Park Kyle bobblehead. I think this was either 98 or 99 that it came out. It's head bobbles because it's a fucking bobblehead and it's pretty awesome. I also still have the package for it, but I don't have the thing it was held in. So I have this. We're gonna call you Fart Boy from now on. And there's Kyle on the front or the side, I mean. And I don't, I never bought the other ones. I wish I had them, but they have Kyle, Kenny, Stan, and Cartman. Here is a Tweak lunchbox. I can't remember if I ever opened it. I think I did, and I looked at the thermos and stuff, but I'm not going to open it for you guys now because I'm an asshole. But this is my Tweak lunchbox. It's still in perfect condition, still in a wrapper, still cool as fuck. Here is Tim L. He is not in perfect condition because he's got some dust on him. But it's still a cool collectible. I was never huge on Timmy. I like Timmy, but kind of stood for a different era of South Park. And I'm kind of more pre-Timmy than post-Timmy. Just because I'm old school like that. But you can see that. There's a thermos. Never been out of the bag. Hello, children. How are my little crackers today? That was an awesome impression by me, Ryan. This is a Chef piggy bank. It has a few dings on it, but it's still in a little bit of dust, but it's still all right. You can see there. I paid a lot of money for these back in the day. They are South Park script books. There is volume one and two. I think I paid for volume two first and I paid way too much money for it. And then I found it on a different website for a lot cheaper. I thought it was like some rare collector's item. Oh, here's book two. That was book one. I don't remember which one I got first for sure. But one of them I paid out the ass for. And it has... I, I don't ever really look through these because I don't want to... I'm a collector and I don't want to fuck it up. But there's storyboards and scripts in these. Here is a South Park trivia game. I only played it a few times because I have no friends that have any knowledge of South Park whatsoever, really. But it's pretty. It's a pretty cheap game. It didn't come with little characters or anything. You're just play. You play as stupid little sorry game things, whatever you call them. Ooh, there's some dust on this bad boy. Here is a South Park PC game. I got this before the Nintendo 64 game because I actually waited for it. It came out after the N64 game. 
I got this and it was a while later I bought uh, Chef's Love Shack and South Park Rally and I played this on 64 and I beat it and I enjoyed it much more on 64 than PC it just seemed easier plus there were cheat codes that I knew so got through that I think I beat the PC version too never got to play much uh, two-player on it which sucks really wish I had some of you hardcore fans may remember that I had the boys set out already, so they're not in the box right now. They're on my uh, my shelf. But Chef is still in there. I didn't get Chef out because I only have the boys out. Because I uh, everything I put out on my shelves and stuff tend to be the boys. I don't know why. I'm OCD like that. Here's the back of the, the box. And this was probably the second edition, maybe the first edition, I don't know, of the wind-ups. There were several editions, so I'm not sure which one this is. Maybe you guys can tell me. But I know there was another one that came out later that had a better-looking Kyle in it. This is backing that came off my tally figure because it, it, got, it got humid in where it was stored and it got damaged and... It came off, the back came off, and I got really pissed off for a while, but I'm still not over it, really. I think about it every night. It keeps me up at night. Here are South Park Sticky Adventures, and it is, it was pretty fun. I remember when I bought it, I also bought the stuffed Ike at Spencer's that time, but the uh, sticky stickers aren't sticky enough so they fall all over the place and I'm not sure why I don't have this in a bag because they may get loose but this is a uh, uh, came out in uh, 99 probably let me see what it says on the back doesn't say on the back but damn this thing was expensive 20 smackaroos ow my ass this is the ow my ass notepad I got it from a friend in Canada, and I still have it. Love it. Don't talk to her anymore, but it's because she doesn't talk to anybody. But it's uh, antique. Got to keep track of that. Got to keep it in, in its wrapper and in good condition. I almost didn't even see this in there, but this is Towley. And he is still in a wrapper to keep dust off of him. He is two-sided. There's a happy fucking Towley. And a high fucking tally. And I don't want to take him out of his bag. He, he belongs there. He belongs being suffocated. Believe it or not, even though I took the South Park keychains uh, from Fun For All out of their packages, I kept all the backings. All the backings. I think they're all pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Nothing special there. But you could see there's stands. And there's Cartman's, and they're all there. At least I kept the backs. I shouldn't have taken them out of the package at all. But at least I saved the backs. This is a South Park TV talker. And it has been out of the box because I realized it looked better in the box because everything does. But I don't know if you can see in there, but they're at in Mr. Garrison's classroom at their desks. And it talks when you flip the channel, or it did back in the day. I doubt it still does. The batteries have long since died. And this is a Kenny Savings Bank that came out in 1998. It's pretty crazy looking. I like it though. It's a nice little savings bank. It's like the Chef one. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! It's just like the Chef one. It's in the same series. So Chef is like, Hello there, Kenny! And Kenny is like, <laughs> And Chef's like, Oh, children, children, how are my little crackers today? And here's my beautiful Kyle piggy bank. I fucking love this thing. I wanted to buy it when it was at Suncoast in stores. That's a video store. But I never did. I bought the chef there, but I got Kenny and Kyle off of eBay some years later. If you want to look at that Kyle some more, because he's dandy, still in the package. And that is the end of the first unboxing tub video of my South Park crap. My very, very old South Park crap. And um, I hope you'll join me next time when I unbox more.
if you want to call it an unboxing. So if you like this, I hope you share it and uh, like it, give uh -huh. it a little thumbs up, and maybe comment if you have any questions or comments, because that's what the comment section is for. And I will see you next time.